Oh, hey, welcome again to I Bought You Didn't Know, the game show where our contestants take a few minutes to prove they know what they think they know, and if they don't know, they don't go home. I'm your host, Mike Barmundi, Product Marketing Manager for Nutanix. Today's topic is the hybrid multi-cloud. With us today are two amazing guests. Let me introduce to you Greg White, Senior Director for Nutanix. Greg, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm excited, maybe a little nervous about the uh, consequences of this game show, but I'm excited. We also have with us coming back, or I should say staying here, <laughs> Bill Parks. I am the consequences of this game show. <laughs> Nutanix generalist. Yes, he is. I'm going to describe our board and explain how the game works really quick. There's five categories, numerous questions, the one with the most points wins. First category, fill blank, blank, the blanks, a succinctly succinct, multiple choice, wild card, and cert. And Lee. We shot some skeet right beforehand. Greg, you got the most skeets, you get to choose. I'm curious about succinctly succinct. Let's go for that for three. The question is, succinctly explain the term multi-cloud. Bill, let's start with you. Bramani, it's on the board. Multiple clouds. Wait, you done this before? Mm, maybe. Uh, Greg, let's um, go to you. Succinctly explain the term multi-cloud. Uh, it's not using public clouds in silos. So it's a, diff a little different from what you were talking about. Greg, thank you for explaining that to him. I think he's, he's trying, but he needs that little nudge. Can you dive a little bit more into that? Yeah, like this will date me, but if you think back to when we had a mainframe and you added on uh, x86 servers and then you've got a fiber channel SAN, it's like Milton in the basement with the red stapler. He's the only one who knows how to run that mainframe. <laughs> And uh, you've got other people that do the other pieces. And so it's, it's, that's all being managed in silos. Multi-cloud is where you're able to have those different uh, capabilities, but manage them all the same. I like the basement part too. Unfortunately for Bill, Mr. Parks, we don't have one here for you. Okay, little Napoleon. What are you, 5'4"? I'm 5'7", and that was my nickname as a child. Thank you. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Bill, with that comment, why don't you choose a board? You got next. Can we do multiple choice for two? Ready? Here we go. Pick all of the risks associated with a single cloud strategy. A, price increases. B, vendor or service lock-in. Or C, the potential lack of sovereignty over your data. Bill, what do you got? You know, Bar Monday, I would argue it's D. Not having to go to Vegas once a year. <laughs> huh? Uh you know, I agree with that, but I think it's also, you know, the other three. There's the challenge of not having the flexibility to, to, to move to something else if you need to for another service or, you know, an opportunity or a location. You learning something from this guy, Bill? I mean, Absolutely. <laughs> this is great. Okay. I mean, go ahead, Greg, you have the board. Where are we going next? Let's go for fill blank, blank, the blanks for two. A good cloud strategy must be blank. Bill, what do you got? Phone a friend, Mike. Well, no, that's, that's, that's not beep, this game. Beep, <laughs> beep, 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 Are you tapping beep. on your hand? Greg, Greg do you want to maybe help him out? I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, you know, if we think about the last question, uh, my answer is de-risk because your cloud strategy gives you a chance to remove the risks that we just talked about and, and have more flexibility. Yeah, as in, I wish we could de-risk this room of a certain person. <laughs> All right, Greg, you're bored. Let's move on. Let's go back to succinctly succinct. And uh, I don't want to let give Bill too many chances to catch up here, so let's just go for one. The question is, succinctly define a cloud operating model. I would succinctly define it. It's like having that common way to control your apps and data anywhere they run. Maybe we can dig a little bit more into that. I think cloud operating model is a unique term. Do you have any more on that you could? Yeah, you think about um, where I run my workload, the automation, the management, the things that I do for that, the apps and the data. I want to be able to do it the same, have a lot of automation. I don't want to have to learn how to use one set of tools for each thing. So that's what the cloud operating model does. It abstracts and allows you to use across all those different places. Love it. That's a great answer. 
Bill, you taking notes? Great answer, Greg. On that note, let's move on. Bill, your board, where are we going next? Fill blank blank the blanks for 16. The question is, run a hybrid multi-blank. Cloud. Well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Great. Did you phone? <laughs> no, that was all on his own. On that note, what Bill said, what is a hybrid multi-cloud? Bill, can you explain that? Or you want Absolutely to not, Mike. <laughs> okay. I mean, Greg, it's up to you. What is a hybrid multi-cloud in that case? Yeah, it's where you take what we talked about before, multiple clouds using a common operating model. You add in the on-prem piece, that gives you hybrid. And don't forget the edge, too. That's included. Speaking of edges, Bill, you have none right now. Let's go back to you. It's your board. Where are we going next? I have no edges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do Farmondi. Let's try multiple choice for one-ish. <sighs> Multiple choice for one-ish. I see what you're doing there. You're only going to get one if you answer, but let's go into it. Pick all the critical components of a hybrid multi-cloud operating model. Is it A, moving apps and data between clouds, including containers? B, data services and availability across environments? C, license portability? Or D, integrated security? Mm. Bill, what do you think? What the hell? Thank you. I have some mac and cheese in the fridge. <laughs> oh, I'm just getting hungry, getting lunch done. Uh, let's do, I select B, B, D, C, and A. Th thank you for going out of order. That's oh. correct. Did, Greg, did you thank help you. him with that? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just uh, asking if he knew what we were having for lunch. Okay, so you talked about mac and cheese in the fridge. Let's go back to the hybrid multi-cloud operating model. How does an operating model from a cloud and the hybrid multi-cloud kind of connect in your opinion? It's bringing all those pieces together, that common control plane and that access to data uh, and understanding where it is and having the services you need for it too. Mate, that was succinctly succinct. I feel like you fed him all the answers before the game. Is <laughs> Speaking that true? of feeding you hungry? <laughs> you haven't had food in a while here, I bet, so. Don't, don't call me out on camera, Mike. <laughs> it is now time for the final box. Are you ready? Let me explain how this works. You will receive one key question. You'll have a couple of seconds to think about your answer. You'll be able to provide that to me each individually. I will pick the winner who will receive all the points. The winner gets to go home. Probably not you. The loser gets to stay. You ready? Stop pointing. Here we go. The final bot. What are the top misconceptions of a hybrid multi-cloud model? Uh, top misconceptions, you're a good host. Nope, that is not correct. Greg, let's move over to you. You're, you're an okay host. Oh, thank Don't, you. you know, oh, sell yourself you. short. Uh, I think of three big things. Okay. You know, we talked about multiple public clouds and silos is not multi-cloud, so you need to have that common operating model. The data center is not necessarily the center of data anymore, so understanding and having data services where your data is no matter what. You know, hybrid multi-cloud, it's not just public cloud, it's service provider clouds, and don't forget the edge. That's all part of the, your, everything you'll be having to manage. That's a great answer, Greg. Uh, okay, okay, Bill, I, I get it. Like, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Do you want to add anything to that? Highly unlikely, but. It sounds like Nutanix is really the only hybrid multi-cloud solution out there. Absolutely valid, Mike. Yes, that's a great addition, actually. Can I go home now? Well done. <laughs> Actually, no, you don't win. Greg, I'm awarding you all 1,000 points. Congratulations. Bill, you get three participation Good job, points. Good job. I, I know. I, I can see you guys create a relationship. Unfortunately, that relationship will have to be put on pause because, Bill, you're staying here. And that's it for today's edition of I Bought You Didn't Know, the hybrid multi-cloud. As Greg says, it's an amazing way to run your apps and your data anywhere. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Also, click the link if you want to learn more. We're excited to engage with you. We hope to see you next time on this show that I love so much. I bought you didn't know. See ya.